Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 30 NSG. On today's show, we're going to be talking about uh, Nintendo leaks and rumors. Now, there's two articles I want to go over. One came out on October 20th, and one came out on October 21st. But before I get to these articles, if you like this, we do a show Monday through Thursday each and every single week. Uh, we do a show from 10 o'clock in the morning to about noon Eastern. We go over a couple of news stories with live chat. This week I'm off due to personal reasons, but uh, these uploads that I do, these breakout videos, if you like this, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and let's get to it. So the first article I want to pull from is Leaker Claims Switch 2 will feature ray tracing, reconstruction DLSS 3.5 plus two models at launch. Now, Known leaker, Nate the Hate, is back with some uh, more interesting Nintendo Switch 2 rumors. It's hard to discern uh, what's how reliable his sources are. Speaking uh, in a new YouTube video, he goes on to say that the Switch 2 will feature the following, some form of ray tracing reconstruction. And that will also have support of the image upscaling solution of the DLSS 3. He also mentioned that the Switch 2 will come in two different models, possibly one which supports physical and digital games, and a second one which is just a bit cheaper and digital only model. Both Microsoft and Sony have done this, and the same with Xbox Series and, and the PlayStation 5 consoles, to bring the price down. So it's not uh, out of the realm of possibilities, and Nintendo has yet to comment an uh, inevitable successor of the now aging Nintendo Switch family of systems. Now the second article that we have here says, Nintendo Switch 2 update may hit a backwards compatibility. Now an update of the long-rumored Nintendo Switch successor hits from the upcoming platform might be backward compatible with the current Switch library. Now, the latest update regarding the Nintendo Switch rumor success suggests that it will be a backwards compatible with the current Switch. The Switch successor has been countless rumors and leaks spread about it thus far. Now, the Nintendo Switch primarily sells itself I, I, identity as a hybrid between console and handheld. It helped Nintendo rebound following under, underperformance of the Wii U and even enters into the seventh year of marketing. I can't believe seven years has passed already since the Nintendo Switch came out. Uh, also selling remarkably well, becoming the third best-selling piece of gaming hardware ever behind the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo own DS. Now, but nothing lasts forever, and the time has going by and more and more rumors have been spreading regardless of the Nintendo has in store for the next platform from uh, from its launch library. So in the release window, to some of the features it might include, even at the graphical uh, horsepower. Now, Inverse recently interviewed current Nintendo of America President Doug Bowser and a variety of topics ranging from the reason why Nintendo is not unionized and also recently released a Super Mario Bros. Wonder to even a small tidbit about the Nintendo Switch successor. Now, he refuses to comment on any of the rumors, but Bowser did state that each of the new prior consoles require players to create a whole new account, whereas the current Switch Nintendo Switch accounts are intended to be a long-term thing, which is not, uh, not a confirmation that the new console will be backwards compatible or retain some of the Switch's features, but some capacity, it does seem to be pointing in the right direction. Now, essentially, in this statement, he's nothing more than a firm, you know, affirmation of, uh, of what the prior comments were, confirming that the Switch successor will reuse Nintendo accounts in order to smooth out the transaction, transition between the consoles. Now, however, this does not hint at backwards compatibility at if the account is carried over then more than likely the eShop library will also be to a very similar model to utilizing uh, for PlayStation Store, which was also carried over between PlayStation console generations. In addition to the Vita and the phone app, this allows players to access full downloadable games and DLC packs across multiple console libraries. Now, if the above is indeed true, then we should be excited to see the Nintendo adopt more ideas from the peers in the industry. Now, unfortunately, since Nintendo has no current plans to announce the Switch successor this year, players will most likely have to wait and a while before they can get any more inf uh, official updates from the gaming giant. Let me give you my two thoughts on this, right? So I do believe that Nintendo, I always say this, if you guys watch my content, I always say that Nintendo is crazy uncle Nintendo. And what I say by this, you know how that you have that uncle that comes to your house over like the holidays, just a, just a crazy uncle, right? Like he's just not the norm of everybody else. And that's what Nintendo is to me, okay? Nintendo, when everyone's going left, they go right. When everyone goes to discs, they go to cartridges. When everyone goes to cartridges, they go to discs, right? They kind of just set their own tone. Like, everyone has a console, but they went mobile. They can do what they want. Even back in the 80s, they had that first VR headset type of thing. They always had more peripherals than everybody else. They just kind of do whatever they want because they make so much money off of game sales, and they have such a loyal fan base. Uh, and I always find it funny that no one really brings Nintendo into the conversation when these console wars, because everyone looks at Nintendo as a kid console, even though I say 
that they hand you one at birth and you turn it in when you die. Like, that's what Nintendo is. It's a culture of people that play it from ages of 0 to 99. So Nintendo just does what they want. Now, as far as backwards compatibility, I look at this and say, sure, they can do what everyone else is doing. But I also look at it and say, look, right now everyone has discs, okay? And they have little, little cartridges that you put into the, the Switch. And I can see a format here that they either make a brand new, whatever that cartridge they do, a different size cartridge, maybe it's back to discs, maybe it's, who knows? But I feel they do this, and for one and one reason only. Look at the Wii. It was a disc. The Wii U was also a disc, and then went back to cartridge. It's a mobile device. We don't know if it's a mobile device. People are saying it's a mobile device. There's a lot of things going on with the rumors of Nintendo Switch. But I have a feeling they go back to a separate entity, a, a proprietary uh, uh, system that they use for the new system, which gets takes away the cartridge, so you're not going to be able to play your old games. Now, I don't want this to happen. I just feel like this is going to happen, and I hope I'm 100% wrong about this. I would like them to keep it, because I have a Nintendo Switch, and I would love if they made another Nintendo Switch, like Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever the hell they call it, that, that the games that I already purchased would fit in that as well. But because of the industry, because it's going all digital, because it's going to cloud services, because they're doing this, I don't know if it would be backwards compatibility. Maybe, per se, that the game that you have now maybe fit in the, in the next-gen system, but the next-gen system is going to have a different proprietary disc cartridge different. Maybe there'll be two slots, one for the older cartridge, one for the newer cartridge, so you can play your old Nintendo games, older Nintendo games, on the new Nintendo Switch. But again, I have no idea. I just think that they're, they're going to go the way of making another way, because why would you... Why would you go buy a new stuff if you can still play your old stuff? Now, Nintendo's smart. If you want to play the old stuff, you got to pay a subscription service on their Switch right now to go play the older Marios and stuff like that. So, do you think that they take it more digital, right? Where maybe you don't buy more hardware stuff, but game sales are, are king for Nintendo. And I think if you take that away completely, it's going to be a, a bad thing for Nintendo. I don't think they all go all digital. I do think they're going to make some sort of different proprietary uh, disc or cartridge that's different than what the Nintendo Switch is uh, right now. But these are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. What do you think? Do you think Nintendo goes the way of making like a smaller disc, a uh, bigger cartridge? And when I say bigger cartridge, I'm not talking like the old N64 cartridges. I'm talking to like just a different size cartridge that you're putting in now. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure you share, like, and subscribe. I appreciate you for watching. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.